and I'm here to do the October block from the Nancy Zeman 2017 block of the month this week we're working on the farmer's daughter's block which is this block here and I have a disclaimer this time I cut three blocks previous to this and then cut this block and I wasn't paying attention to how to piece this block I just started cutting for the largest piece of fabric that I could cut and in this case, I've made this block more complicated. So I recommend that you follow the instructions provided by Nancy Zeman. As usual, the link is down in the description box. And I'll also have the playlist listed at the eye on the right side of the video at the top. Okay. So what I have on my board is very complicated. So if you want to do an intermediate block with set-in seams, then just stay tuned and keep watching this video because I have no idea how I am going to piece this block together at this point. First, let me start by telling you what I cut, trying to make the largest fabric pieces. I cut four chisels and I use my chisel die from AccuQuilt Go. And I have my four chisels and then I have four half square triangles that I also cut with an AccuQuilt Go die. I cut four three and a half inch squares and then I cut these rectangle units cut four of those those are cut ten and one quarter by three and a half and then the remaining pieces are just my squares four dark squares three and a half one light square in this I mean one medium square in the center at three and a half and of course my chisels were three and a half by six and a half from the die and I think I gave you all of the cut instructions so then the first step in piecing this for what I'm just looking at is I want to add all of my half square triangles to my white pieces and then add this square so that's going to be my first step I'm going to do that four times and then I'll come back I have my four units sewn. I've sewn my trapezoid piece to a half square triangle to a square. And when I told you the size of this, this is cut ten and one quarter by three and a half. And then I use my ruler to cut diagonally from corner to corner at a 45 degree angle so that I can get this shape. So I just want to make sure if you're still doing this madness with me, <laughs> if you decide that you want to do the challenge, to go ahead and do that. So my next step is I want to sew these three squares in a row, and then I want to sew this square to this and this square to that. And then I will come back with these three sections sewed. So I'm back and I have sewn the seams that we just talked about. This seam, these three, and this one. Now I want to add the chisel piece onto the end here and here. And because I'm going to have a set in seam when I sew this seam, I must stop one quarter of an inch from the corner. So when I flip this over to sew, I'm going to sew this unit on. And then when I get about right here, I want to stop sewing. I don't want to sew all the way to, to the end and I cannot chain piece at this point. So I'm going to do that to both of these pieces. So I just want to show you and I'm not sure if you can actually see on camera but I have stopped sewing a quarter of an inch from the bottom. And let me turn it to the other side just in case that side shows up better on camera. And I just press that seam finger pressed it. I did not press it with an iron because we're going to be moving that seam. So this is the unit that I have and it goes right there. So now the next thing that I want to do is I want to sew this long seam in and when I'm sewing this corner in I'm going to stop so that it's all stopping one quarter of an inch away. 
and then after that seam is sewn then I'm going to do the same thing this way stopping a quarter of an inch on the inside so I'm going to go ahead and do this to the top and the bottom so I want to make sure that you can see my stitching where I stopped one quarter of an inch both ways and it doesn't show up as much on the back side but I did not stitch into those lines and so when I actually open this up then everything in this corner is nice and flat so it's a good challenge for you I haven't done set in seams in a while so it's kind of fun to challenge yourself a little bit sometimes that's exactly what this block is doing so my next step now is I want to connect these three pieces and again when I do the end piece here and the end piece there I want to stop at that quarter inch seam but on this side I can sew all the way through to the end then I will be repeating sewing these units to the large piece so I'm just going to go ahead and do this sewing and come back with the finished block one tip when you're sewing this unit this unit here onto the chisel piece here sew your small point first so that you know it fits in place and then sew your larger seam it will go together a lot easier I did it both ways with this uh, method on the top it's perfect I did it with the short point first and then on the bottom I did the long row first and the points just a tad short but it'll be caught in the same allowance so just a tip for this block I will finish this block and come right back so I'm back with my completed block just wanted to show it to you finished and a reminder that all of these blocks in this series are 15 inch finished blocks if anyone is working on this project and want me to include photos of your blocks in an upcoming video please do so right away this is the October block so we don't have too many more months left we just got November and December left you can email them to me at tquilts at tquilts.com or you can upload them in the tquilts Facebook group and I will just download them from there so that's it for this block I'll see you next time Thank you for watching and don't forget to watch the slideshow of blocks.